The, the question is whether we had to do it now and whether we had to do it on these terms, and I think the answer to both of those is no. A lot of the controversy over, th over this swap deal, you say the president broke the law if in not notifying Congress 30 days in advance of the transfer of, of those five Guantanamo Bay prisoners. That's, that's really the least of it, Don. Wh um, what should happen now, though? What should happen now is that, that Bo Bergdahl should be charged and tried for desertion. Um, whether he deserted voluntarily or not, I think is, is, is something we'll find out. All the evidence suggests that he did, but that should be the next order of business. So the least of it, you said it was the least of it, what do you mean? What I mean is the least of it was not notifying Congress. He apologized for that. I think that it's the terms of the deal in which five senior Taliban commanders, uh, five senior Taliban officials who had very close ties themselves with al-Qaeda, get released and sent back to the fight. At least one of them has already said he's going to go back to the fight, and I think it's um, certainly to be expected that the other four will as well. You said he broke the law, but you said that law is unconstitutional, and they said in that, just to go on Although a little that bit. Although wasn't, that wasn't the basis on which he relied, interestingly, but go ahead. Okay, okay. So, but they said, that, here's what they're saying, that if, if it had leaked, that Bo Bergdahl would probably have lost his life. They would have killed him. Um, I, that's, that is pure speculation. They also said that his life was in danger because his health was deteriorating, and it turns out when he got to Landstuhl, he was in good health. There's been a succession of, um, there's been a succession of, of uh, uh, excuses, each of which um, has evaporated. The notion of leaks, I think, is also rebutted by the fact that they told quite a number of people within the government, although not people in Congress. Mm -hmm. What do you think should happen then to the administration and to the White House for breaking the law, so to speak, or for trading uh, five very dangerous, you believe, terrorists? That's a political decision to be made within the political arena. They will take the consequences in terms of, of the way the politics shapes out. I'm not a politician. I mean, legally, should anything be done to them? Um, I can't see that legally anything can be done to them. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. They were, they were within the law. I just think it was a very bad policy decision.